Hey, welcome back into the channel, Rockstars. Thanks for being here. And as promised, I'm doing an update video on the longshoremen, uh, port workers strike situation going on. I did not expect to be doing it within 48 hours, but here we are on this Friday afternoon and they are back to work. The strike is over, hooray, and everyone rejoiced in the streets and everyone stopped hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> With that said, you guys heard it right, it lasted less than 48 hours. The longshoremen, the port workers went on strike officially Wednesday and they are back to work Friday. So if you missed that video, I'll link it below. But the long story of it short is the longshoremen, the people that work in our ports and our cargo industry, uh, unloading ships, uh, hauling uh, cargo containers and doing that sort of work, uh, manual labor, a lot of it, were trying to get raises. They were asking for a 70% raise over the next six years, which is pretty drastic. That's like 11 and a half, 12 percent raise per year. A lot of people don't get that. Um, the thing about it is these guys make really good money. Uh, they were There were talks of a lot of them working in the 30s to $40 hour, uh, an hour range. So a guy working for 35 bucks an hour was trying to get something like $22, $23 an hour raises in the next six years. He wanted to be making from 35 to like 58 bucks an hour. So that's pretty drastic raise. Um, and uh, they were offered 50% raises and they declined. Now they have a union leader. Uh, he lives up in New Jersey and he was fighting hard for them. This guy seems pretty bulldogish. Uh, he wanted not only their raise, but he also wanted them to have a contract that said automation could not replace their jobs. Now I had a pretty fiery opinion on this. Uh, my opinion is, is two, two sided here. One, um, even if you are entitled to a raise, you're a hardworking guy, you're doing the work of this country that needs done, which I agree with all of that, uh, a 50% raise is pretty damn good and you're being greedy and want a 70% raise. I can't get behind that, guys. I can't. There's families out here struggling to put food on the table and you're looking to go from 80, 90 grand, 100 grand a year up to 130, 140 grand. I'm not saying you don't deserve a raise. I'm saying I think that's pretty steep and pretty drastic. So that's part one of my argument. Part two is the automation. You are openly admitting that automation can take your job and replace you, which it already is across the world. And in some US ports, automation has been rolling out for the last few years. In fact, one of the most productive ports in this country is ran mostly by automation. There's a whole story about it. Boop. Well, when you are in a position of possibly losing your job or could lose your job, AKA be replaced, who are you to think you're in a position to make demands? Laying that out there. Do we remember the $15 an hour McDonald's workers who were replaced by kiosks? Generally speaking, when you are in a position of not leverage, disadvantage, and you could be replaced, you are trying to find a way to convince your employers to keep you because you are valuable, not because you're going to cost them more money on a job that they don't have to pay you to do. But what do I know? I'm not a union man, I'm not a longshoreman, and I don't work in that sector or manual labor or any of the above, so whatever. But with that said, the strike is over. They met in the middle and they have been agreed upon at 60% raises, which is still pretty drastic and greedy in my life. And I don't think that they're gonna catch a lot of sympathy from the general public who just went through a storm a uh, devastating storm in six or seven states, who is also coming up on the Christmas holiday shopping season. And none of them make 50 or $60 an hour that you're arguing to outside of your general bubble. Those people are not gonna have sympathy for you. You're not going to go to somebody and go, oh my God, we should get $60 an hour and we should have this and that from people who are making $20 an hour. They're not gonna feel sorry for you. <laughs> they're not gonna agree with you that you're messing up their holiday season. And they're not gonna agree with you that you're not there to help after a storm. But that was all avoided. All is well, the strike is over. Um, and they got their 60% raise. Now, as far as the automation goes, uh, apparently there's still ongoing talks with that. Uh, automation is here to stay. Um, it's going to replace people, robots, computers, things like that. Not AI, please don't call it AI. It's computers, it's mechanical, it's machines. It's not AI. That's a story for another day, but there is ongoing talk with their automation contract. I didn't see the exact wording and verbiage of that part of it, so we'll have to dig into that maybe in another video, but they did get their 60% raise, so they're all going back to work. Stop hoarding toward toilet paper, your goods and your cars and everything and your produce will continue as scheduled. They missed a whole whopping day and a half of work. Two days, sorry, they missed Wednesday and Thursday, two days of work, and uh, everything will return to normal uh, as long as they get their money, I suppose. So 
Lesson for the day. If you want something, just demand it. Apparently you can have it. What do I know? Or get a union leader and you'll be good to go. That's the video. That's the update. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, joining me. Leave your comments, questions, concerns. I read them all. I can't respond to every single one I get. I try my best. I promise you, I really do. Uh, but leave it anyways, because I do read every single one. I scroll through them at night. That's kind of my nightly thing. I just scroll through and read all the comments and try to respond as quickly as I can until I fall asleep. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Thanks for liking the videos and loving my uh, work here on YouTube. Subscribe, come back, show me that you love it and want to watch more videos. And until next time, enjoy your weekend. It is Friday, so be safe, make some money, and email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com if you need help with anything, including store audits, reviews, or other questions, comments, concerns. And all my helpful links are down in the description box. Go take a look at it. You'll find some stuff you never knew existed and some people that can help you in your business, reselling, entrepreneurship, or anything else that you have going on. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'll see you next time.